What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and for those who may or may not know, LSPFR, Rage Plugin Hook, and Script Hook V have all been updated. Uh, now for those who don't know, you cannot get Rage Plugin Hook from the Rage Plugin Hook website. However, Rage the updated Rage Plugin Hook comes with your download of LSPFR. So with that said, this is going to be for Steam and Epic users. Let's go ahead and click the link in the description, guys. It's going to bring you to this page right here. This is the brand new build for LSPFR, guys. 8242 is our new build. If you scroll down and look, it was updated three hours ago. Now, I'm greatly surprised. I'm not surprised at all that LSPFR um, updated so quickly because they're usually fast about updating things. But for Script Hook V to update the very next day uh, is just mind blowing but i'm super i'm super stoked for myself as well as you guys that everything is updated so what you want to do here guys is click download the file scroll down click agree and download and you want the manual install guys you always want the manual install that's the one you want go ahead and click download right here all right and then put it somewhere where you know how to get to it moving on to the very next one's going to be script hook v uh, this is going to be version 2699. 2699, guys. You want to click download here and put it somewhere where you know how to get to it. I do recommend putting it on your desktop. Uh, once you have both of them here, okay? Let me make sure that is the right one. Yeah, that's the right one. All right, so Steam uh, users, uh, actually Epic users first, go ahead and pull up your main directory. Now, let me say this first. Uh, for Steam and Epic users, what you want to do before you drag and drop these files, you need to verify your game files to do that so that your game is up to date. So if you notice, if I scroll down in my directory here in my Epics and I highlight my GTA 5.exe, it says 2699 because I verify the files. Now for Epic users, if you're not sure how to do that, what you want to do is you want to open up your Epics game launcher, okay? And this is what you want to do. You want to go over to your Grand Theft Auto 5, click those three little dots, and go to Manage. Go to Manage, all right? And then you want to click Verify right here, okay? Once that's done, then you can then you can come back and watch the video, okay? Um, for uh, Steam users, uh, same type of process. You're going to pull up your Steam. Let me get my Steam pulled over here. You want to pull up your Steam. You want to go down to... Um, Grand Theft Auto 5, which is right here. You want to highlight it, right click, click property, click local files, and then click on verify integrity of game files. This will update your game to the most recent version of Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay, so with that said, uh, here's what we want to do. Uh, Epic users, this is what you want to do. So if you're using LSPFR, then you're going to drop these into your directory okay you're going to highlight these you're going to highlight everything in here like this uh and do not highlight the license and then hold down your control key and deselect the rph readme you do not need those files everything else drag and drop into your main directory okay um i'm not playing lsp4 on the epics game version uh i just don't do it on the epics game version i do i do lsp4 on my steam version okay uh so let me minimize this but for script hook V, uh, let's open that up, guys. And let's double click on the bin folder. All right. Highlight everything in here and hold down your control key and deselect the native trainer.asi. Now, when you drop these two files, your script hook V.dll and your dinput 8.dll, it's going to ask you to overwrite the two previous script hook V files that you have. All right. So drag and drop these into your main directory like this, replace them, and there you go. All right. Let me go back in here. Well, let me just close that. And then let's go ahead and close out of our directory for Epic users. Epic users, you are done. You are good to go. Um, let's go uh, Let's go ahead and do Steam real quick. Uh, Steam users, pull up your main directory, okay? Now, if you're doing LSPFR on Steam, uh, I mean, on, yeah, on Steam, open up your LSPFR WinRAR. Did I have two of those open? I did. Um... All right, so we're going to highlight, we're going to go in here, and you want to highlight everything inside of this LSPFR WinRAR all the way to the LSPFR. Do not highlight the dots, do not highlight the license, and then hold down your control key and deselect the RPH readme. You do not need those files. Grab all these files in here. Now, it's going to ask you to replace them if you've had them before, okay? So you're going to grab these, all right, and you're going to pull them into your main directory just like this, 
You're going to drop them in. There it goes. Moving everything in. And right here, go ahead and replace the files. And everything that you installed into your main directory is now going to highlight in blue. There it is. Okay, there it is. Now, let me make this very clear, okay? And let me unpin my uh, rage down here. All right. So, once we got that, close out of this. Open up your script to V WinRAR. All right. Double click on the bin folder. Again, highlight everything and deselect the native trainer.asi. Grab the D and put A.dll on the script took V.dll. Pull it into your main directory, drop it in, and replace the two files. There you go. All right. There you go. Now, we're going to see if this works. So, before we do anything else, Steam users or anybody using LSPFR, scroll down your main directory. All right. And you want to highlight that Rage plugin hook right here. Highlight that. See how it says 1.94? That is the most recently up-to-date Rage plugin hook, okay? So highlight that, right-click. For Windows 10, you're going to right-click, and you are going to uh, send to desktop and then drag it down and pin it to your taskbar, okay? For Windows 11 and 11 Pro, you're going to go to Show More Options, all right? And you're going to go down here, and you're going to pin this to your taskbar just like that, all right? So let's refresh that, close out of this, and let me get my Epic's Game Launcher pulled back up. Epic users, go ahead and fire up your Grand Theft Auto 5. All right. I know my screen probably went black there for just a second, but that's that's just how it works when I'm recording. I'm not too sure why it does that. But let's see if the game fires up. It should fire right up, and your mod should be good to go. This is for Epic users. This is for Epic GT5, okay? All right. So if you get that, guys, um, let's do... Let's do this. Let's do this. So let me say this. If you get that message and you're not too sure, um, as I'm not too sure what the problem is or why it did that, um, because everything's up to date, the directory, the game, uh, the mods are all up to date. If you're still getting that, you are still more than welcome to play on version 2628. Uh, you can always revert back the same way I showed you in my revert video, okay, which is what I'll probably do. Uh, but you will need your other copy of script took V, which means version 2628, okay? That's the version of script took V that you're gonna need to make your game work if you're going to revert back again, okay? Which is probably what I'm gonna do. So, for Steam users, let's go ahead and click on our Rage plugin hook, okay? And you're gonna get this window right here, guys. Accept. Accept it. All right. And then in here, you're going to go to plugins, load all these plugins on startup, check all, load all plugins on startup. And then let's see here. All right. So, right here, guys, as of right now, do not back up your game version, not yet. Okay. We want to see if the version that we're on is going to work because if it doesn't, we have this option right here to revert back. So, do not back up your game just yet. I'll tell you when. Okay. I'll tell you if it's okay to do it. For now, let's go ahead and save and launch. Okay? Then just click OK here. Now, if it doesn't work, we can go ahead and we can revert back. Okay? No worries, guys. Sometimes this happens when the newer mods are updated until they get the little kinks and the kinks and knacks worked out. Sometimes it happens like that. But Okay? So we got that again. Now, so here's what we're going to do. So, for Steam users, you're going to go back into your Rage plugin hook. All right, you're going back into your Rage plugin hook. Epic users, I'll get to you in just a second, okay? Nope, let me close that. Don't do that. Click on your Rage, guys, and nope. Click on your Rage. Click on your Rage. Click on your Rage and, um, and hold down your left shift key, guys. Hold down your left shift key. Just like that. All right. Now, what you want to do is go over to your game settings and go to backup game. I mean, not backup. I'm sorry. Revert game version. And just click on this revert right here. Just revert. Okay. All right. So, you want to, do you want to make a backup of the currently installed game version first? No, you do not. Do not make a backup. Click no. Okay. But you do want to revert. Now, let me say this. I want to make this very clear. If you decide to revert back because we just installed the new LSPFR and the new script took V, you are going to need, you are going to need 
the older version of LSPFR and the older version of Script Hook V. So in other words, Script Hook V would need to be 2628. And the build for um, for your LSPFR, if you guys give me a minute here, I will pull it up real quick for you. Um, the build for that is going to be, let me go here. Um, let's see. Here we go. So the build you're going to need uh, to run your reverted version would be your 8151, the version we had previous, right? This is why I always highly recommend for everyone to keep those copies, those previous copies, until you know for sure that your game works. If you've gotten rid of your copies, then there's nothing I can do for you. Uh, so you're going to need, um, let me go ahead and get rid of these two up here. All right. And I'm going to pull out. My old LSPFR right there. And I'm also going to pull out my script hook V for 2628. Epic users, I'm fixing to get to you. Hang tight. All right, so we're going to pull these up. We're going to close out of this. All right. Now, in here, we're going to, we're going to, it's, it's obviously not going to work. We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to try it for, just for craps and giggles. Let's go ahead and click save and close. Okay, so now here's what you want to do. Let's see if it fires up. I doubt it's going to, even though it reverted because we got the new script hook V and the and the new LSP4 in there, so it may it's probably not gonna work. Yeah, we got this window again. So here's what we want to do. Let's go back to Epic Users, okay? Epic Users, open up your GT5 main directory, okay? Now all you have to do, Epic Users, all you literally have to do is those four files, those two files that I showed you guys um, that you needed for your backup when we did our revert video, okay? You want to find those files again. You're going to have to have those. Same for Steam. Same for Steam, okay? Same for Steam. You need the four files. Epix will need the, the Play GT5 and the GT5.exe. Uh, Steam users, you are going to need the GT5.exe, the Language Select, G the GT5 Launcher, and the Play GT5. These are the four files that Steam will need right here, okay? Matter of fact, let me just let me just do it like this. Let me just do it like this. I'm going to pull this out, and I'm going to pull this out, okay? So back up Steam, back up Epics. Now, Epic users, what you want to do is if you have that old, the only way this is going to work is if you have that old version of Script Hook V still in your folder somewhere on your computer somewhere. So let's open up our, um, our Script Hook V. And this is going to be for 2628, so keep that in mind, okay? Open up the bin folder, same process, highlight everything, deselect the native trainer, drop these into your main directory just like this, and override them, okay? It's going to bring you back to the most recent version, okay? Which would be 2628. Now these, as you can see, are still on 2699, okay? We want to change that, and we're going to, okay? So let's open up our backup epics folder. That has these two files in here, the GT5 EXE and the Play GT5. That is what we want, okay? So what we're going to do is grab these two files. We're going to pull them into our main directory just like this for Epic users, okay? For Epic users. If I said Steam, I apologize. For Epic users, you're going to pull these in right here. You're going to drop them, and you're going to replace the two files, okay? Now your game is reverted, okay? Your game is reverted. Epic users, I believe you are done. There we go. We got it. Let's close out of this, close out of this, and once again, let's try to fire up the game, all right? Let's try to fire up the game here and see what happens. And if it doesn't work this time, guys, then I do not know, but I, I always recommend that you guys make a backup copy of your directory before installing any mods or reverting or anything like that. There it is, guys. You're good to go. I would highly recommend staying on 2628 right now. Uh, if 2699 worked great for you, go ahead and stay on it. That's more power to you. But as you can see, uh, 2628 is working for me. That's that's the version I'm going to stay on for right now. Uh, so let me just go ahead and end this out real quick. All right. And now Steam users, same exact process, okay? If that thing don't quit popping on me, I swear. Uh, Epic users, same exact process. If I can close that. All right, now. Steam users, pull up your main directory, all right? Now, if you guys will look on mine and I go back, I made a backup copy right here. This is currently my 2628 right here, so I really don't have to do none of this, guys. I'm just showing you how to do it. See it right there, guys? 
26, well, this was says 26.99. That's the, okay, yeah, 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 never mind. Never mind. But I do have others that are in 26.28, like this one right here. This one's still in 26.28. So uh, let me uh, do this one more time and pull up my main directory. All right, now, so if you'll notice in your main directory, your gt5.exe is going to say 26.99. I mean, 26. 2628 it should say 2629 i don't know why mine still says 2628 because i verified my files my get this acting really weird anyway either version you got this is what you're going to do okay you are going to open up that script took vwinrar double click on the bin all right then highlight everything deselect the native trainer grab both of these files pull them into your main directory just like this okay and drop them in replace the files okay there we go now that part is reverted back so close out of this and we can now get rid of that shortcut open up your lspfr file now remember guys keep in mind you have to have build 8151 for 2628 on your lsp4 install okay it has to be for that version so in here again you're going to highlight everything except for the license and deselect the rph readme okay you're going to grab all these files. You're going to pull them into your main directory just like this. You're going to drop them in. There it goes. Sorry, guys. I have the hiccups a little bit. And you're going to replace the files. All right. There it goes. And there it is. All right. Everything is now replaced. Okay. So let's close this. Now, the next thing we need to do, last but not least, is open up our backup Steam files. Okay. Remember, guys, we did this in our in our, our revert video or in my backup video when I showed you how to back up your game. You should have these four files, okay? All right, so let's grab all these four files right here for Steam users, and you want to pull these into your main directory just like this, okay? Now it's saying move, and that's okay because we're just we're just pulling them in here uh, from our folder, okay? So pull them in and drop them, and then replace the four files. All right. Close out of that. Don't worry, guys. I have another backup Steam if I need it. <laughs> All right. And then now, as you can see, uh, we you should be on 2628. If you were if your GT5 said 2699 before, you will now be on 2628.2, okay? So let's close out of this. And uh, let me unpin this right here if I can get it unpinned. All right. And then what we want to do is scroll down our main directory. We want to highlight that Rage plugin hook and pin this to our taskbar, okay? Just pin it to your taskbar just like that. Close out of this, and let's click on Rage. All right. Again, we're going to get this window right here. Click Accept. Because remember, guys, we did revert through Rage, okay? And it didn't. It did not work. So, uh, again, guys, plugins, load these plugins, check all, load all plugins on startup. Um, and you will now see that the supported game version is 2628.2, which is exactly that's exactly what we want. Okay, that's what we want. So once you get everything done, guys, go ahead and click save and launch. Click OK, and fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Let's see how good this works. All right, let's see if it fires up or if we get another error window. I hope it fires up. I hope it does. I'm pretty sure I did everything right. There it is, guys. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Fire right up. I would recommend. So if 2629 is not working for you guys, then I would recommend staying on 2628.2. I hope I said that right. I have a way of mixing my words up sometimes. Um, so if you guys uh, went to 26, 20, uh, 2699 and it's not working for you, then just revert back to 2628 the way I just showed you how to do it. With that being said, guys, that's going to do it for this tutorial. I'm sorry I couldn't get 2699 to work. I'm sure it'll there'll be some kinks worked out. Uh, somewhere down the line and maybe that just calls for a fresh install uh but anyway guys with that said uh subscribe if you're new smash that like button for me click that bell and click all the like when i post new content and when i go live until next time guys and girls god bless take care stay in prayer love one another and peace out i will see you all in the next video take care guys